Hello, dear friends. I'm sorry to do so many blah 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 at the same time. <laughs> Suddenly, I had uh, one, two, three, four, something like it. And uh, the reason I do it is because that uh, I am heading to another continent again, and uh, then I will not. Uh, uh, I will not be visible on. on YouTube and Facebook for two weeks, so <laughs> I will give you uh, a quiet time this time, <laughs> so you will not be bothered. And uh, traveling to Europe, uh, sometimes it's not easy to find uh, internet connection, but still I managed to, to find, but this time there will be no, f there is internet, but there will not be uh, YouTube and Facebook, so you will really have a quiet time for two weeks. How good is this news, right? <laughs> and uh, <coughs> this travel just uh, make me to rethink about, uh, yeah, same as any travel, traveling open up our, our uh, I and we see things from a different perspective, from a different angle, and uh, uh, seeing history we see today, seeing other people's life we see our own life. Every other thing is the mirroring of our own heart. So I, I benefit so much from from learning different culture and seeing different people's life, lifestyle. And um, this, this trip, uh, the, 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 a couple of days ago trip is mostly France and Italy. And um, maybe I will do some blah, blah, blah of this Italian French thing. And, um, they are all so beautiful, so artistic, and yet so different. And um, there was one Italian shop under our, our apartment in Paris, and uh, the, the, the Italian guy, he is such a funny guy, and always uh, laughing and smiling, and, uh, and other people go to his shop, he sells gourmet Italian food, really good. Uh, burrata or mozzarella with cream uh -uh, inside. Anyway, uh, <coughs> people ask, what cheese is good? This one better or that one better? He never say this. He, he will say, not this one, n not good or bad. It's just different. And it is so true. It is just different. And uh, the beauty of French art is so much, I, I do not know, I just have this feeling, the Impressionist is the, the, such a big hit in French modern art, contemporary art. And you can see their lifestyle, the art nouveau like lifestyle, the uh, um, art style, and uh, the window decoration, and the people's lifestyle and dressing is so impressionist and so casual and easy, and uh, and that funny French people, and it's just uh, they are lovely people. They are so <laughs> mignon, and. Uh, just lovely and uh, and uh, and you feel that they are easy, casual, and uh, and they fly if and just a very very uh, fun people. And Italian, the the Renaissance, Italian Renaissance, and so rooted in the Italian uh, art and cultural and. Uh, they are not afraid of extreme, and if you see their sorry, I need to light up a little bit. If you see their art design, window design, Italian design is so top, 
laptop, their clothing design is so extreme, and and pursue the craftsmanship to the extreme, and uh, their their food and uh, the serious espresso machine, espresso machine, <laughs> coffee machine, what else? And uh, their new plastic design and uh, industrial design, furniture design, just uh, so different of these two culture. And seeing this, it's um, it's uh, it's such a good reward for me. And uh, and also this trip is mostly I I put a lot of time. Um, taking art class, visiting art studio, and uh, I visited one ceramic shop, ceramic studio in um, in Paris, uh, Musée de, de Sèvres, and seeing people walking, and people walking with their hand, creating something so patiently and. Uh, and uh, enjoyably, and I see so many people, from what I know, so many people walking not happy, and even from the YouTube, some of your your <laughs> your comments, you sometimes I know you do not enjoy your life, but seeing people, the craftsmen walking with their hand, it's so enjoyable artist doing something painting and creating something solid it's such a rewarding job and also in in Italy I think in Florence I saw one yes in Florence the the cemetery or tomb or temple of uh, uh, Medici family there was one room in renovation. Then there was one lady, two ladies worked together to renovate, res re restore piece of artwork. What they were doing was cleaning uh, a Jesus uh, sculpture or statue. And I was there for half an hour. And the two ladies from beginning to the end, they were cleaning the food of Jesus. And just one talk, spending almost 30 minutes. And what I saw from this, what I see and feel, is the dedication into the job, what they do, and art restoration, and uh, it's just so touching to see people work so refinedly, so dedicatedly and delicately producing art. And um, art needs patience, needs dedication. And this I will put into what I do in my life, in my teaching, in my learning. I will spend more time and slowly doing something patiently. And also in my class, I will let my students know that a piece of painting needs time. We do not need to finish one piece of work within one class. We can do it two classes, three classes. And uh, good work needs time. And. Uh, yeah, I have too much blah, blah, blah. And uh, the next travel, I will just be away from you and enjoy my own quiet learning time. And in two weeks, I will report you what I have learned, okay? Let's learn together. I have so much more things I want to tell you. I will shut up here, okay? <laughs> I will stop here. Bye-bye. Mm. See you in two weeks.